Hey everybody, it's Shipper Agent. Oh, wait, what's that? That's right, this is not a normal Riven review video, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at some uh, potentially really broken stuff in Warframe with uh, a couple couple of frames uh, and the beautiful Secure Penta here. So you guys may have seen my Secure Penta video, uh, which I run a 122.2% crit chance, the 4.4 multiplier Penta. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Penta ribbon here. Uh, a little bit slow fire rate, but honestly, with the plus damage and crit chance, it is it is perfect. Now, 100 munitions on this is where this is going to kind of get dirty and a little bit broken with the 122% crit chance we're looking at here. So, built a little bit of a weird mag prime here. Um, went with some narrow-minded Augur Secrets, Umbral Intensify, Prime Flow, Prime Continuity, Fleeting Expertise, and Transit Fortitude. So, got 158% duration, 160 50, um, 65 range, so it is negative range, but really for this build, you don't need range. If you wanted, you could swap Augur Secrets out, or Power Drift, you could drop either one of those down um, for the range ones there. Uh, and then it's 238% power strength. So, go ahead and hop right in here and show you this is something that was brought up to me recently by a viewer, and I figured I'd do a little video on it and showcase um, kind of what we've dubbed Pandora's uh, Penta, as you will, or P Pandora's Box Penta. So these are all level 160 enemies here. I'll go ahead and show you. We've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of each each uh, variety kind of a faction. So. Yeah, that is an undetonated, by the way, because it doesn't auto detonate. So you just kind of let it do its thing. It uh, pretty much fucks them all up. And keep in mind, those are level 160. Those are the highest possible. I manually detonated there, by the way. Those are the highest possible to spawn at Master Rank 26. Um, I mean, hey, so this is a pretty good combination for those players that know how good mag can be. And yes, that is a small area, but you can even pop all three in there undetonated. He went a little bit faster. Does push him around a little bit. But, uh, my god. And the duration is fine. So, like I said, if you want to drop a little bit of duration, get a little bit more range, something like that, totally up to you. I am running both Fleeting Expertise and, uh, let's see, and Transient Fortitude. If you want, you could drop, um, because it's really, you don't have to have the energy efficient build be like the high focus um so if you wanted to you know you can just run streamline instead that'll give you quite a bit more It'll bump you from 158 to 218 uh, there on the uh, duration and the efficiency of course will drop in half but still both of those really good you've got the flexibility of being able to drag on and off this is a four form of build um, it's not exactly my normal build, but I might start running this as kind of a normal build. Um, so that is the mag penta interaction. Now the other frame I want to take a look at actually is going to be Ivara. Now Ivara's interaction is a little bit different, but kind of similar. So I'll go ahead and pull her out. So her build actually doesn't differ from what I normally run. It's 158 duration, 175 efficiency technically max efficiency with the uh, um, channeled abilities. Negative range, only slightly, and then only 155 strength. So could run more power strength uh, on her. Um, I might potentially do that for the sake of the test, but I normally don't. Um, I do have this build as well, but it's less power strength, more duration, um, kind of focus on that. So we'll go ahead and grab some energy. And then we'll simulate these guys. So for Ivara, the test is a little bit different. So you put your two on. Fire. But here's the beauty. Now it bounces off enemies, so you do have to kind of get good at controlling it. But I killed that guy without ever detonating this thing. I don't even know who all I'm hitting right now. I'm just kind of hitting dudes. Now, granted, this is going to take a lot of energy. This is going to drain energy pretty quickly. 
So this is not something I can see a lot of people building for. This is more of a jokey kind of fun thing to do. But the fact that it's also proccing hunter munitions, this is where it gets kind of nice. And you can aim for heads. Look at that. See, we're down. We're already down from our 400 or 743 energy. Try to hit him in the head. There we go. Let's see, we'll be able to finish this guy. I think so. I think with the hunter munitions procs. And just stacking them as much as we can there. There we go. Boom. And energy done. And there it goes. Now it's detonated. So, yeah. There we go. Now, granted, like I said, that, that build's definitely a little bit more jokey. Not as, uh, not as realistic. Um, and those were all level 160. But, I mean, if you're looking at, like, level 100 dudes, it the lower the level, obviously, the less it's going to take to kill them. Um the more viable this build could actually theoretically become. Let's see how it does against level 100, just to see the viability of it. It actually, it actually feels like it steers better than most, most uh, uh, the uh, other projectiles do, because the slow is actually pretty dang slow. Yeah, I, I feel like against level 100, you could make this work. Oop. I'm sure there's a way you could get it, you know, if you do like the, uh, the whole Revenant thing we had recently. If you jack up the mouse sensitivity and spin it in a circle tight, there's probably a pattern you can get that'll be like, yeah, something where you could just hit them infinitely for a while there. But then, yeah. So, I mean, it's viable to an extent. It's also kind of just jokey to, to see what you can do with it. So, this was just kind of something to show you guys. Hey, you know, the Pinta, I feel like, is an under, uh, underrated weapon. Um, it can do gimmicky things, but it also can be just generally good. For example. So this is kind of just a Pinta appreciation video in a, in a long roundabout way, I feel like. I mean, it's basically cloud proccing hunter munitions on things and doing decent crit damage. And those those slash procs are nothing to, to scoff at. Those are like 4K, 2K, 2.6, 2.2, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, see? I mean, those are level 100 dudes, but that's still... Th those aren't no level 160s. Now, against the 160s, it'll probably be way less effective in general. But honestly, I feel like the mag combination, mag penta combination, is is actually somewhat viable because the ammo economy of the penta is already not great, although I've never personally had troubles with it. Um, I know people say, though, it's not the best, and I can totally understand that. Oh, well, maybe it's... I mean, I don't know if that guy died. That's also sometimes the fun thing to do is just hit him with the the rocket and hope it uh, hope it uh, crits on their face and then and then detonate it for even additional damage. Uh, but yeah, so I'm uh, pretty excited to show you guys that. Thank you guys for viewing this video. I will catch you in the next ribbon build breakdown video, guys.